For a lot of Americans, the best thing about Thanksgiving is the food. And no Thanksgiving meal is complete without, that's right, turkey. But why turkey exactly? How did this strange bird come to dominate the dinner table? Well, turkeys have a lot going for them. For one thing, they're big, big enough to feed a family. For another, they're not usually raised for their eggs like chickens are. In the old days, that meant that turkeys were more expendable, which in turn made turkey meat relatively cheap. The fact that wild turkeys are native to North America made them a natural choice to be served at early Thanksgiving celebrations, but that doesn't mean they were always the most important part of the feast. In fact, the event we now think of as the first Thanksgiving may not have had any turkey at all. It's true that the Pilgrims shared a meal with the Wampanoag Indians at Plymouth Colony in 1621. But all we know for sure about the menu is that it included deer and fowl. That fowl might have been turkey, but more likely it was ducks or geese. What's more, that 1621 meal didn't exactly start a trend. Throughout America's early history, some communities did hold ceremonies to give thanks for the fall harvest, and over time, the common turkey did become a popular centerpiece for these occasions. But the so-called first Thanksgiving was largely forgotten about until the 19th century when various local traditions inspired the idea of a national celebration. For more than 30 years, a writer named Sarah Josepha Hale advocated for Thanksgiving to become an official U.S. holiday. Her efforts finally succeeded in 1863 when Abraham Lincoln issued a presidential proclamation. Only then did people begin to think of Thanksgiving as a uniquely American observance. The story of the pilgrims became closely connected to the holiday, as did, well, the turkey. Even if they weren't served at the first Thanksgiving, turkeys were mentioned in Pilgrim's journals. And at least one founding father was fond of them. Benjamin Franklin touted the turkey as a respectable bird and a true original native of America. By the end of the 19th century, people across the country were calling the holiday Turkey Day. Symbolism aside, it was practicality that ensured the turkey a permanent place on the Thanksgiving table. Through the years, they've remained affordable. They're big enough to feed a family with plenty of leftovers.